We are back and welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another Wednesday upload, you absolute beauties. Because you guys a couple of weeks ago really enjoyed the top five format that we gave to you guys of the top five scariest Poltergeist activity that I thought that we had caught on camera, I thought I'd deliver another top five uh, just with more Poltergeist activity that we've caught, kind of giving a bit more context to some things that maybe if you're new you may not have known or just some things that you may never have seen before. And this is going to be titled Top 5 Scariest Poltergeist Activity That We've Ever Caught In Our Haunted House. Probably Mark 2 because we've done one of these before, but you know the score. Before we get into the video though, I want to invite you guys to drop a like on today's video, subscribe if you're new and tickle my little bell so you get notified whenever we upload. In case you don't know, it's we upload on a Wednesday and a Sunday at 8pm. Come and check us out on the old socials and if you're a channel member, you're a bloody legend. Anyone who wants to become a bloody legend, get down in the description where there will be a link to become a channel member and you'll become a bloody legend too. Without you guys, these types of videos just wouldn't be possible. So thank you and a massive shout out to you guys. But without further ado, I've waffled on for long enough. Let's get into the top five scariest videos we've ever caught. Coming in at number five is a clip that we caught one evening when we were trying to sit and relax after a hard day's work. The thing that we've learned with paranormal activity is there's never any rhyme or reason as to why things happen. On this particular evening, me and Lainey were just sat mindlessly watching some TV while sat on our phones, but nothing could prepare us for what was going to come next. We were just Saturday watching TV and then this happened. So as you can see from the clip, we're just sat there minding our own business, then the light in the corner starts to flash, and as that light's flashing, the ring light over in the other corner of the room falls on its own. As I stand up to go and deal with it, as Lainey's telling me that she's going to refuse to deal with it, the cameras start to bug out and glitch, which is incredibly uncommon for these cameras. We've had them for over a year now, and we haven't known them to glitch like they did here. As I went to pick up the ring light, the lamp in the opposite corner began to flash again. It was all weird, it was all wonderful. I'm stood there in just utter disbelief. Lainey sat there in utter disbelief. But it's one of those things where if we didn't have this CCTV camera, we wouldn't have caught this footage. I think we both had quite uncertain feelings about this just be because of the nature of how it was. It was uncalled for, there was no knowing that it was going to happen. It literally just happened. But we'd absolutely love to hear your thoughts on this clip down in the comments below. So be sure to get down there, tell us what you think, and how would you react if you were in our situation? We'd love to hear that too. Coming in at number four is another clip that was completely uncalled for and there was no rhyme, no reason, and there was no knowing that this was going to happen. Lainey, one evening, was just making some tea. I think she was just making some burgers. As she turned to put the plates down on the table, we caught this. Prepare yourselves. Ben? So as you can see from the clip, Lainey's just minding her own business, as we do most evenings, just making some dinner, making some burgers, and out while she's doing it, the cupboard door swings open and a pot of ketchup falls out. Dave or Andy, whoever did this, timed this to absolute perfection because as Lainey turns, the cupboard door opens and she got full eyesight on everything. I think Lainey's face tells a thousand words on how she's feeling about this one. You can see from her face that she's just stood in utter disbelief at what she's just witnessed. And as she came through to explain to me what had happened, I fully disbelieved her until she showed me back on the CCTV what she had picked up. 
again it was one of those things where we were there was no predicting that this was going to happen we didn't know it was going to happen it just happened which tends to happen most of the time i think that contributes to it being quite uncertain because there's no predicting what's going to happen nor when it's going to happen again we'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings on this clip down in the comments below and how would you have reacted had this been you Coming in at number three is a clip that we caught long before we got our CCTV cameras. Before we got the CCTV, we would religiously carry around our mobile phones trying to capture anything and everything that we could to try and document our situation. I think this time I was through in the kitchen making some dinner and Lainey was sat on the sofa looking towards the heart reading on her phone. Out of the corner of her eye she saw a big black book fall from the middle of the heart onto the floor. Then this followed. This book's just come off this shelf and I blame <gasps> I blame you. Why? No, hang on, hang on. Before I you blame you. Why? Oh, it's broken. Why? I blame you because you were asking for something. Yeah, about an hour ago. You can tell by the clip, not just the book fell from that cabinet that night. Lainey was telling me that she was quite gutted because she got her phone out to record thinking that she had missed the activity, but what she missed was only the start. Ornaments and other things continue to fall out of the shelves. Lainey then turns to me to blame me for this activity. I blame you. Why? I'm completely dumbfounded by these claims, but to this day, I still find this to be one of the most interesting clips that we've ever caught. I look back on it and I, it's just something that really baffles me even now. Fortunately, we had the book fallen out as prior warning that something was going to happen, but we couldn't have predicted what was to come next. But what do you think on this? Let us know in the comments below. Coming in at number two is a clip again that we captured prior to us having CCTV footage. I think this is something that we caught really, really early on to us sharing our paranormal happenings. You can tell by how little Boo is. One morning we woke up just before going to work and I was playing with the kitten. His favourite toy at the time was this little red ribbon and I was just making a joke because I was absolutely fuming that we had spent about £30 on cat toys and all he wanted to play with was this ribbon from a present that nobody wanted. Lainey got her phone out to record me playing with the kitten because she wanted to keep the memory of us playing together while he was really little and unknowing to us, we were going to catch much more. Take a look. Love him, Ben. Look at him, man. <laughs> but give him a bloody his toys that we spent thirty quid on at the start. He won't play with them like this. <laughs> He's not interested. Give him a ribbon that we found bloody lying about. He loves it. Was that a ball? I think it was. <laughs> As you can see from the clip, the ball to the right hand side of me moves on its own. There was no predicting that this was going to happen. We'd never experienced anything like this prior to this happening. They say that cats are very good at sensing when things are about, and we have noticed that as the cats have got older. But at this point, we never really noticed Boo pick up on anything. So not even our little ghost detector could have warned us on this one. The thought of having something right there next to me really spooked me. Watching back the footage, it was an incredible catch and I'm so glad that Lainey started recording that day. But be sure to let us know down in the comments what are your thoughts on this clip. There was very mixed feelings about this one, especially on my end, as this was really, really close to home for me. It was right next to me. And while you're down there, let us know what your thoughts on cats and ghosts are. Can they sense the dead? Be sure to let us know that too. The reason I saved this clip for number one is because it really got the comments debating, which is something that I really enjoy reading, is reading both sides of the story. Not just the people that believe us, but also the sceptical side of it. And a lot of sceptics struggled to explain this one away. Take a look. What the hell? <gasps> Shut up! What the hell? Did you see it? You couldn't miss it? Oh, we've got to watch that back. Was that a shadow just then? Where? I don't know. I don't know either.
So we started recording because the door handle on this door started to rattle, which in the past has been an early indicator that there is more things to come from that area. Lainey picks up her phone, rushes over with me closely behind. As we get closer, we can hear the door handle rattling more and more ferociously. And as we get closer, the door opens on its own. In an effort to try and debunk the debunkers, Lenny opens the door and rushes through and shows up the stairs to show that there is nobody there and I don't think that anyone could have got up those stairs in the time that Lenny gave them before she peered around the door. Another thing that really got the comments debating was the fact that underneath the door there was no shadow and if there was a person on the other side there would have been a shadow cast underneath the door due to the light coming through from the front door. This left a lot of sceptics scratching their heads and trying to find other ways to potentially debunk the video. The emotions around this video for myself and Lainey are very mixed. I think the adrenaline took us through the door, but afterwards we were on a big come down because we couldn't believe that we had just bolted through a door where there was so much activity. But we would absolutely love to hear your thoughts on all of these clips down in the comments below, so be sure to let us know on everything and your honest opinions. So there's another top five scary ghost video that we have managed to catch in our haunted home. But I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts and opinions on all of these clips down in the comments below, as I mentioned earlier. And while you're down there, be sure to let me know what you think on this type of video. If you would like me to do it again, drop a like and let me know in the comments and I would absolutely do this again. Or maybe, you'd like us to move away from our haunted experiences and maybe do a top five on other people's haunted experiences. Hmm, breaking into that goose pimples territory you know. But of course, if you guys are interested in that, we will absolutely do it. If you're not interested in it, then let us know and we won't do that. And we just want to make the content that you guys would love to see. If you have enjoyed today's video though, guys, I would absolutely love it if you could jump scare the hell out of that like button, subscribe if you are new, and tickle my little bell so you get notified whenever we upload to this channel. But in case you don't know, we upload on a Wednesday and a Sunday at 8pm. Come and find us on our social medias as well. It's at Lenny and Ben on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Twitter and Facebook are the two places where I'm doing daily updates. Every single day there is a post going out to tell you guys about the spooky activity that we may not capture on camera, but we experience. And over on TikTok is where all the videos go first and Instagram is all about our life. So be sure to go and follow us on everything so you cannot miss a beat on anything that happens to us. And I want to give one massive shout out to our channel members as well. You guys, true MVPs, you make videos like this happen. If it wasn't for you guys, it just wouldn't happen. And with all that said guys, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. And I cannot wait to see you in the next one. I'll speak to you later. Peace.